guys, it's Leek. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I hope you're here to subscribe and stay. For today's video from the title, I'm going to be showing you guys my go-to nude glosses. My go-to nude lip combos is doing amazingly well. So I love to just keep putting you guys on to newer, better, you know, trendy lip products because I love them. So I'm not stingy and I love to put other people on, like I said in the last video. So if you want to watch the last one, it will be linked down in the description as well as I'll put it somewhere on the screen here. If you didn't miss it, I did include lipsticks, lip glosses, lip liners, all of the sorts. But for today's video, we are going to be focusing on lip glosses. Specifically, we all know summer is right around the corner. I believe summer starts next week even though it's already 100 degrees in LA right now and my lips are bare this is not how we're going to be looking but my lips are bare because we're going to be applying we are in a new little setup we're actually in my little kitchen area it actually has really good lighting so I like it a lot let me know how you guys feel about it and my hair is up in a little bun we're serving just a little bit of subtle something because the focus is going to be on the lips I do think I'm going to use the same lip liner for every single gloss so that it's not confusing i'm going to use the one that i've been using non-stop lately which is so i'm super mad because i ruined this pencil it, i've been using it every day faithfully but it's the sephora lip liner in the color molasses which is a really dark brown but like i said in my last video if you want a lip color to really work for you just change the lip liner so i'm using a dark brown so if you don't like dark browns you can pair these with a nude liner you can pair these with a lighter brown because this is very dark but I like to pair mine with a dark one because it just mixes together so beautifully. There's something really beautiful about it. And I'm mad at myself because this is a retractable liner and I couldn't figure it out until after. I sharpened it so now it's just like super sharp. But anyways, don't do that. If you get the Sephora ones, they're retractable so don't sharpen them. I'm going to be showing you guys my top five. Same like in the last video I did five. I'm going to do another five all glosses. And guess what? They're all affordable and they're all from the same brand because... This brand to me like never misses when it comes to lip products. I don't know why I was sleeping on them for as long as I was, but I'm hooked and I'm making up for it because I have them in their own little container and I took the glosses out, but like all of my new go-tos are usually sitting in here. And yes, I own this many and three of them are the exact same color. When I tell you which one, you're gonna go crazy because it was in the last video, but Three of these are on their new collection. So these are all NYX Butter Glosses, but three of them are on the newer side. I just discovered them. They have another new one that I really, really want to try, but I haven't found it yet at Ulta or Target. So some of these were at Target, some of them were at Ulta. This is all five, and as you can see, they're all really different shade ranges. I have a nudish one, I have a pinkish one, a purplish one, a peachy one, but they're all so beautiful. Love that they can all be considered a nude to somebody. You know, everyone has their own definition and their own version of a nude so I feel like me incorporating all these different undertones and shades are perfect because everyone does consider a nude to be their nude. I want to talk about one other color though. Fortune cookie a lot of girls like but it has never worked for me. It's very very it's very very on the light side for me like way too light. I'm talking like I cannot make it work to save my life unfortunately but it is very beautiful from what I've seen so I will probably put it down below NYX fortune cookie. Maybe I'll just go ahead and swatch it for you but it's very like on the fair side. So there it is right there. But yeah, with summer coming up, I feel like glosses are just going to get more popular and more in. And not everyone can afford a super expensive Dior lip gloss, which is still my favorite of all time. But you don't got a ball on the budget. They aren't going to be in any particular order, but I am going to just show you one by one. But again, remember, I'm only wearing one liner. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this liner really quick. And then we're going to get on to the first color. And also, like I said in the last video, same goes for lip glosses. I don't like to put on lip balm or like a gloss right away. I'll put it on like, you know, way ahead of time. Like I probably put on this lip mask like 45 minutes ago when I started my makeup. That way I had a minute to like dry down because I don't like my lips to be super moisturized and lip balmy because then it just moves all, moves the product around and then it won't stay on as long in case you didn't know that. So I like to use just a lip liner and like sometimes I'll put foundation like right now I didn't but when I probably take this off and put on the other one I'll show you that I put foundation around the edges because the liner will stick to it and it will last a lot longer but yeah I don't prefer my lips to be very hydrated a little shadow is trying to peek through like don't mind her but basically you should look crazy like you should look crazy like this and the first one that we're gonna use is actually gonna be my OG I just bought a new one it still has some plastic on it but this is the one that I have three of little miss Madeline 
I love her. She was in my last video as my favorite lip combo because this literally is like my every day go to gloss but no lie like these new ones like they're very new i've had them for like maybe two weeks they're kind of up there like i've been using cinnamon roll way more than i've been using madeline so i think she has a little bit of competition but like she's like my og you know like she's my holy grail so i've zoomed you guys in with my little five o'clock shadow please ignore her and this is a new tube i'm so excited but we're gonna apply her and you're gonna see this magic is that close enough okay And then like you can keep it like this, but I prefer a little bit more of a mix. Like I don't want it to look so dark on the edges. So like I purposely go in and add more so that also like my lip glosses are usually stained too. So that that brown just isn't really harsh. I like that look sometimes, but for every day I prefer it to be a lot more blended. I will blend it more into my liking. And this is Madeline and Molasses. So what are we thinking of the first one? Are we liking it? I want you guys to comment down below your favorite one that I'm going to wear today. But this is the first one. Like I said, this is my go-to, my everyday, the most comfortable that I like know is going to do the job every single time. And that I know will go with pretty much every look. This I know will go with like any eye look that I do. The other ones, since I'm still learning them, I'm still deciding if they always look good with brown or they always look good with pink. Like, you don't always know. So, like, with this one, I know for sure that I'm going to get the same color and the same outlook every time. It's going to be a good nude. So, this one is up there for sure. All right, let's go on to lip gloss number two. Let's clean these lips. All right, we're looking crazy again. We got the lip liner back on. Now, next one we're going to try is the one I mentioned earlier, which is cinnamon roll. She is on the purpley side and she scared me a lot. But I was like, I'm gonna give it a chance because I was like, Nyx, Nyx, you ain't gonna do me dirty like that. So let me go ahead and try it because I got faith in my girl Nyx. So I got it and got you all in my business again. But I feel like my application is just gonna get worse and worse because I'm just gonna get messier and messier. But here it is, very purple. Now look, very purple. What? You can't really tell on camera but it's pretty purple and you just drag it all around I'm gonna dip again this one I like to get a lot and then see I look crazy <laughs> oh there's something about this one I just like makes me feel like mm -hmm. it just gives me like it makes me feel like a bride stall yeah, this is the one that is giving Miss Madeline a run for her money when it comes to me because Madeline is a bitch to me and nobody can replace her, but this, she's giving. <laughs> it's beautiful. And you see why it doesn't really matter that I use such a dark one because like it really dilutes it when you put the lip gloss over it because like this is not what you would think would come up when you would pair a very dark brown and a purpley color like never never in a million years would i think that these two colors would make this and that i would be this much in love but i am and it did and she did that and yes ma'am i've been wearing this one a lot lately and i've been getting a lot of good compliments on it but this is definitely up there okay babe so we're back with the lip liner and we have a couple more i kind of have they're they all might look similar but they're not so i actually want to show you guys the peachy color which is in the shade Bit of Honey, which is interesting because like I wouldn't look at this color and think of it as honey. It's like very much on the peachy side, but it's super cute. I really, really like this one. I wore it recently on a TikTok. I got a lot of good compliments on it, but I love this one too. I just love them all so much, but like I forget what they look like because I don't wear them every day. But this one I know for sure that I really, really, really like. I really like all of these, <sighs> but like some more than, no, it's not really some more than others. Let's just apply it. Are back all up in my grill but at least my makeup don't look that bad okay whatever bit of honey see y'all like you can't really tell how peachy it is but it's very peachy in person like see when you first apply it how peachy it is I'm mushing and then I just I like it'll get stained your little brush if you're always mixing it with liner but it's not gonna change the color the color will stay like bomb so 
where she is. Bit of honey. I feel like you can definitely tell the difference between this one and the last one because this one's a lot more like vibrant. This one is very pretty for like summertime when you just want to do a simple look like this with like maybe big lashes and no liner and, or no eyeshadow either and you just want a really pretty pop on your lips. I really really like this for that but also like this is one of those lips that like may not go very good with pink eyeshadow because these are completely different undertones or like purple eyeshadow. I mean it's really up to you. I feel like you can make anything work and some girls can just pull off anything like those type of girls I'm just jealous of. Rihanna like don't ever think that a color is not for you or it's not gonna work for you because it can work for you. This one just for me, from my experience, it doesn't go with every single eye look that I do. But that's okay because it goes with just like a neutral look like this. Like this is my everyday like neutral look. Sometimes I'll add shadow but like a lot of the time like it's so fucking hot out here that like I just don't feel like doing it. So now we have two more. So let's get on to the fourth and the last and then we will talk more but let's move on to the fourth one. Hey, we're back with my little signature little brown moment. This would be so cute with clear gloss. But okay, the fourth one is gonna be Butterscotch. She reminds me a lot of Madeline. But here she is, Miss Butterscotch. Very, very nude. All right. I am messing with her. Oh my goodness. I think this is the one. I think I'm experiencing love at first sight. Let's make one thing clear. Miss Butterscotch did not come to play, okay? This, this is beautiful. Like, I'm still deciding. I don't know if I put this one on. I'm out of fur, cause like, number one, I know I said I didn't love any of the other ones more than, I know I was one of those parents who said I don't have a favorite child, but I have a favorite child. And her name is Miss Butterscotch, okay? I love it. Look at this face, look at this beat, look at this lip, look at these lashes, oh my God. That's the thing about liner too, is that it gives you this pout like, my lips are not this pouty. Now, I am familiar with Sugar High. Sugar High is very, very similar to Madeline. This is the one that I thought was Butterscotch, but as you can see, it's very lighter than Butterscotch. This is Butterscotch and this is Sugar High. Sugar High is a lot more on the peachy side. It reminds me a lot of a bit of honey, just a little bit lighter. So we're gonna go ahead and put that one on now. Okay, y'all ready? This is very light. I don't remember being it this light, but um. <laughs> it's definitely probably the lightest you'll ever see me go with a gloss if it's not clear, cause like, this is light. But it's cute, like it gives, it gives, don't get me wrong. It's just very light, but it gives you that ultimate pout because it's such a different shade from the dark liner. I probably have worn this one with a lighter brown. I'm sure I have because I mix match liners all the time and like forget. But I don't, I actually really like this. I love this one. I think NYX is coming hard. I know they released a lot of new colors, which is why I went and got some. But NYX is coming for y'all. NYX has me in such a hard, tight chokehold. Like, I don't even look at other, you know how you don't even bother? Like, I hate when you, like, don't look around at other brands because you might be missing out on something great. But, like, I'm to the point where, like, I don't even bother because, like, can you really compare? Don't compete when you can't compare because have never failed me. I've never led me in stress. I've never taken my money. I've never broken my heart. And they're cheap. And they're cheap. I don't think you heard that part. But... If you guys enjoyed this video and you guys want to see more lip combo videos, more makeup videos, more lipstick. If you guys want to see more lip combo videos, because they will come, I'm going to probably do a go-to new lip combos part two with lipsticks and liners. I've been searching for y'all like high and low. And lip glosses as well. I'm probably going to do a part two and then a part two to the glosses. And this can be a new series because you guys really love them. And I love them too. I love filming them. They're really, really fun. They're really just like kind of chatty videos because I'm applying the product, but I'm really telling you what I like about it and like how it works for me. These are also very comfortable. I know I didn't talk about like the product itself and like the wearability, but they're very comfortable. They're very glossy, very shiny. You know, for the price, they're very good. I won't say they're like absolutely perfect because that's like no makeup product ever is and you're never gonna like appeal to the masses where everyone likes it. That's with everything in life. So like somebody's not gonna like it, but I think that these 
are definitely up there like they're comparable to high-end glosses because everyone that I know like owns one or has tried them or has liked them like NYX has really really good lip products I said that in my last video like I said if you want to see more videos like this make sure you thumbs up this video comment down below and subscribe for some more like in your life and I'll see you guys in the next one bye